Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant IB back again. And uh, we got more news and views. Um, we got more Google in the news. But um, this is getting kind of serious, right? And I've often said that people who are willing to silence you do not care about anybody's freedom, but freedom with their, but their own. And if you defend yourself, they will look at you like something is wrong with you for defending yourself. They want to destroy you, but get upset at you for not wanting to be destroyed because they feel they are entitled to causing or taking part in your destruction. They want to shut you down and get angry at you for being offended at them shutting you down. They want to silence your voices and get angry at you when you shout out. This is what Google has done to people they deem to be conservative. Google has allowed people to shut down. They have shadow banned. They have put somebody on people's channel for the sole purpose of making sure that their views are not heard and they do not make an income. All right. And my channel is is a, is a sample of this. The very things that they talk about that Google will lie and say they're not doing, that their algorithm rhythms don't do. As soon as somebody labels you, labels you as having conservative views because you want to preserve your right to speak, live, earn a living, you don't want your children poisoned by things you don't believe in, nor your family. All right. And if you look at the leadership at Google, they do not rep. But hell, many of them do not represent people in the United States. Understand this. They don't represent us because they They'll tell the story, oh, my people were immigrants and stuff like that, but they immigrated over here into the high class, high society, best education and stuff. And then they're using their platform to make sure that the people that had the least opportunity will now not only not have the least opportunity, but not have a voice. Oh. And they were making, actually making legitimate money, rivaling TV channels, giving people knowledge that they wanted to hear. Let's shut that down. That's what Google said. All right. Oh, they are caught up in a whole bunch of stuff where treason against the United States to fraud in the 2018 elections. Yes. Google committed fraud in the 2018 election. The reason why a lot of Democrats were elected was because Google controlled with what undecided voters heard, what undecided voters were able to research. And because people researched on Google more than the other um, sites to research on they were meant they were given misleading information or they were led in a particular flat path because google did in fact use the influence to control the outcome of the election why in the world do you think people in the democratic party was trying to blame trump I often said a lot of people that accuse you of something 
are probably guilty of what they're accusing you of that you never thought to do, nor would you do. You'd be like, I wouldn't do that. Oh, you wouldn't, but they already have. That's why they're accusing you. It's a deflection tactic so that you don't realize that they are doing some kind of nefarious thing against you, but you can't tell or you weren't aware of it until they start accusing you. And then you'd be like, oh, so you're doing it to me. That's how that goes. Let me greet everybody. Horvorden, Hardu, Gudak, all the way to the bay. Basis, Los, Bonjour, Mezumi, Kedu, Bawani, Konnichiwa. Ni hao, ni hao ma, Sani Bonani, Jamba Horbaigani, Assalamu alaikum, and Shalom. All right, let's break this down. But first, let me remind you, get the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, click the notification bell. Okay, y'all know I'm about to make this other trip. I got some more balls to... um to go out um so i'm taking keyboard and and a drone down to the ngo that's non-government organization for those of you that never understood these are the people that go into rough places and build the schools and do what selmin is doing because the government does not exist in these places in a good way okay but anyway so this is what i'm doing so i do need help so if you want to help out the brother, just um, hit me up. But don't help me if you can't, because I'll manage to find a way. All right. So take care of yourself and family first. But if you can, slide, slide a brother some change. All right. So let's get back to what's going on. All right. I want you all to pay attention to what's going on. All right. Google had a measurable impact on the 2018 midterm elections in the United States through its biased search results. That is the finding of new research in three key congressional races in Southern California. The now I want you to pay attention to the nature of the three key congressional races in Southern California. All right. Notice that they're, they were Republican. All right. And notice the lies that Google is telling, but pay close attention to the researcher. Author of the study plans to present it in full next month. Now, the study analyzed around 50,000 election related searches and web pages linked to them. Three search engines were compared Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Those behind the research concluded that in the three districts in focus, more than 35, thousands undecided voters may have been persuaded who to give their backing to which could potentially apply to millions when you consider the scene across the country this research is not the first made by this author against google however the tech giant has dismissed his previous findings saying that its algorithms are politically blind and we know that's we have never re-ranked search results on any topic including elections to manipulate political sentiment Moreover, we do not make any ranking tweaks which are specific to elections or political candidates, period. We always strive to provide our users with the most accurate, relevant answers to their queries. Now, notice how Google decides what they consider are relevant. So if they consider only Democratic stuff relevant, then, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They're pushing the Democrats. We know that many of us, us Afro men who maybe don't vote because of spiritual reasons, but because of our spirituality, have been sanctioned by Google and had our channels taken down when we don't agree that something that, that is going on or a habit or customs are not good for our community because we see the destruction firsthand because we actually live in this community. If you pay attention to all the pictures that you'll see up here, this is the Google elite, the Google decision makers. None of them are us. As a matter of fact, when I say none of them are us, many of them are not born here as descendants of America. They are people who came here because they were able to manipulate the system. Don't give me that, oh, my, my, my grandfather was immigrants. And stop using that BS as, as, it's BS. The immigrant thing, the immigrant thing, unless you are a legal um, 
Hispanic person that works on some of the farms and stuff like that is bull. All right, because th those guys are help building, help cultivating, help doing some stuff. So I'm just down, I just don't like illegal immigration. All right, but the people that were on the work visas and stuff like that, they doing it. They doing the jobs that other people don't want. And they're coming over here on a work visa. All right. That illegal immigration BS, how they trying to get y'all to cake for that. Don't cake for that BS. Because it's not the workers. It's not the actual builders that got that's doing the illegal stuff. All right. These immigrants, these people that want to tout themselves as immigrant. Right. No, they come over here, go to the best of schools and stuff like that. And then they're trying to say they got their position off the back of immigrants. And that's a lie. They're coming here because they have privilege, more privilege than the people that they left behind in their own country. Because the real poor people can't come over here and take advantage of our educational system like the people that's running Google who are part of a caste system who will look down on people like me because my skin color is too dark. Oh, you best believe. Let's move on. Well, who better to speak to than the actual author of that study, Dr. Robert Epstein, senior research psychologist at the American Institute for Behavioral Research and Technology, joins me on the line. Um, great to have you on, uh, Dr. Epstein. Google completely disagrees with you, I should say, first of all. They, they said there's no way this, this can be true, but you disagree. Is it really possible the results of Google searches can influence the way people vote? Well, there's no question about that. I've been doing uh, randomized controlled studies uh, for more than six years, uh, measuring quite precisely the impact that they can have on people's thinking and behavior and purchases and elections. Uh, but this uh, monitoring project that I conducted, that sh this shows beyond any question uh, that there was significant uh, liberal bias in Google search results, but not in search results from uh, Bing and Yahoo. Unfortunately, about 90% of searches conducted on Google, not Bing and Yahoo. So uh, uh, Google really is the deciding factor uh, in in close races. In fact, we calculate that uh, upwards of 25% of the national elections in the world are being decided uh, without people's knowledge by Google's uh, search algorithm. Can you give an example of how somebody might be influenced? So you go on the internet, you go on Google, what kind of things were people searching for? News stories? Uh, well, we were, we did this very, very carefully. We had uh, field agents uh, focusing on three congressional races in California, which were uh, very uh, hotly contested races in Republican districts. And we gave uh, to these field agents about 500 election-related search terms. Uh, each one uh, had different search terms for different districts where there were different issues, of course. And the point is, uh, we, we, uh, we, we simply looked at what, what kind of search results they received when they were conducting election-related searches. And uh, we found uh, very consistently uh, that on Google, uh, they ended up with search results favoring liberals and favoring liberal news sources. And it was quite a dramatic effect. And by the way, that uh, disclaimer, that denial that you uh, just played from Google, you have to listen very, very, very carefully to what they're saying. They're saying they don't re-rank they're very careful, you know, in their, their denials. We don't re-rank. I've never claimed they re-rank anything. I'm just reporting on what they actually show people. And what they show people is dramatically biased enough in our 2018 elections to have shif shifted upwards of 78.2 million votes spread across different races in the U.S. in 2018. 78.2 million votes. Can we votes. establish with any certainty just how much influence what people see in their internet searches, what impact it has upon who they vote for? Well, yes, that's what the, uh, the scientific research has been all about. And we know that among people who are undecided on an issue, uh, if we show them 
uh, search results that favor one cause or favor one candidate, like Brexit, for example, uh, among people who are undecided, that easily can shift 20 percent or more of them in the direction of the bias, uh, upwards of up to 80 percent shifts in some demographic groups. People trust algorithmic output. They trust Google. They think it's uh, uh, because it's generated by a computer, they, they don't see the human hand. They think it's impartial and objective, uh, and their opinions change. So we've measured that quite precisely now in five national elections in, in multiple countries. Uh, and so we know for sure that that is occurring now around the world without people's knowledge. OK, we'll have to wrap things up there, unfortunately. Great to speak to you, though. Author of that study, Dr. Robert Epstein, is my guest, senior research psychologist at the American Institute for Behavioral Research and Technology. Thank you. He is the senior researcher at the American Institute for Behavioral... Google had a measurable impact on the 2018 midterm elections in the United States through its biased search results. That is the finding of new research in three key congressional races in Southern California. The author of the study plans... Oh, that dude got a lot of credentials and stuff behind his name. So understand, Google's biased research algorithm actually flipped seats in the 2018 U.S. midterm election according to a researcher who found the search engine dramatically biased. And, and this guy did not just look at the United States elections. Google's bias is for liberals across the world. The results shifted over 78 million votes to Democrats. And now you understand why Democrats are trying to keep Trump in the news for collusion to nothing with no evidence. Every time you go around and look at the accusers of accusing people of doing something that there's no evidence to, they're trying to hide the fact that there's evidence to the corruption that they are doing. And more and more, the Democrats are the ones that are have been colluding. Um, their Google and everything have been using these things to rob people of their choices. You got the lawyers um, with the... What, what's, what was the scam that I was talking about? Oh, the patent scam. All right. Yeah, Democrats that support Harry Reid, who will not investigate or make a law to make the illegal stuff that they're doing, the extortion robbery that they're doing. Remember, Harry Reid, at the top guy in the Senate for the Democrats, because they give him money. These people are bought and sold up here in these Congress and the House, all right? And this is a senior research psychologist, all right? Mer American Institute for Behavioral Research and Technology. So they do behavioral research and technology. They know what the hell is going on. And all this will be in the description box Google was able to flip House seats from Democrats, from Republicans to Democrats. So if you're wondering how all these really crazy fringe people have been getting in to office, now you see. All right. And they have in recordings, internal meetings, and all of this. So my question to you is going to be this. When are you going to be tired of being manipulated and used by this company? All right. And when are you going to start calling? Everybody should be calling this BS out. Because first is the people that think conservatively, then it's everybody. And then that's when the liberals will start crying, well, we don't get to speak now. Nope, you because you let the corporations use y'all to take everybody over. With that said, I'm out.